Hi. I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this Ingbird humidity controller. So in my GrowEat setup, I use this humidity controller uh, to basically uh, control the humidity inside of my dry tent. And uh, this controller allows for a plug that turns on when the humidity gets too low and also when it gets too high. But um, from my experience, the only thing needed in a dry tent setup is the uh, humidity plug, which controls um, controls a fan when the humidity gets too high, and then it can suck out uh, the extra humidity. So in that case, it would be work two. So what you would do is you would plug in an inline uh, fan into work two to suck out the extra humidity from your dry tent. Okay, so let's go over some of the basic operation of this humidity controller. So, uh, the top value is the humidity that is being currently read by this humidity controller. And the bottom value is the humidity uh, that you have assigned in order to control uh, the humidity levels. So in this case, as you can see, the light is on in the work one, which is saying that uh, it wants, the plug is turned on to add humidity uh, to your setup. Okay, let's go over the basic operation of our humidity controller. So as you can see, there's only three buttons, a set and an up and down. If you hold set for three seconds, it'll take you uh, to the settings uh, option. And the first option that shows up is the humidity set. And this is the most important option. We're going to set this to 55 and a half in my example uh, for our humidity, uh, for our dry tent. So 55.5. So we want to make sure to save this. You save this by holding set for three seconds again. And now we have 55.5 versus our humidity. Okay, let's go over some of the other options available. Let's hold set again. First it tries to make it set the humidity. We already have that set. We're gonna click it again. We're gonna go to HD. So this is the humidity differential. And this is the percentage it'll start um, trying to add humidity. Uh, so let's say if we have our humidity set at 55 and we set this to five, once our humidity drops to 50, it's going to try to add humidity. So let's just set that to five. Again, in our case, it does not matter since I am not connecting the humidity plug to anything in my dry tent setup as all I'm going to need is uh, the dehumidification setting. So let's go take a look at that. Alt set again. HD is the humid humidifier setting. Then DD is the dehumidification differential. So this is uh, an important number. And I think 5.5 yeah, it goes away pretty fast. D, 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 humidification differential, 5.5, that's fine. So let's leave it at that and save it. Okay, let's look at what else is available for the options. So alarm, the alarm high. So when the humidity reaches 99, an alarm will sound. And I don't really use this feature, so I want talk about it too much. And we'll leave it as 99. 
AL is the alarm low, so if it's zero, it'll, the alarm will sound. Uh, delay protection, humidity calibration. So calibration is if you notice the humidity is actually reading wrong, you can you can uh, adjust uh, the humidity level by setting this uh, value. And that's all the settings. So that's the basic features that I wanted to discuss. And I just wanted to reiterate one more time, after making those uh, initial settings, all that I do for my uh, dry tent setup um, is you will get this humidity reader hung up in your dry tent through one of the little holes. Then you will connect a worker number two, work two, to your uh, dehumidifying inline fan. Let me verify that on my other one. Yep, work two. And the way that works is basically it'll just suck out the extra air, the extra humidity when the humidity gets too high. And when it gets too low, I like to add uh, just a little bit of uh, cocoa perlite mix in a plastic container and put that on the bottom of your uh, of your dry tent. And that's about it. Check out the other videos for more information. Check out howgrowweed.com for um, all of these videos, you know, nicely laid out for you. And uh, also that includes our shopping list and all our recommendations. All right. Thanks for checking out our videos and good luck.